Did you know how the pyramids were actually built? What material was used for construction and how stones as heavy as 2.5 tons were carried and put in place? Let's delve deeper. The pyramids, particularly the ones at Giza, represent a pinnacle of ancient engineering and remain subjects of fascination and study. The Egyptian pyramids were primarily constructed as burial monuments for pharaohs and high-ranking officials. Central to pyramid construction was the choice of location. A westward-facing plateau aligned with the setting sun was preferred, symbolizing the realm of the dead. To ensure the pyramid aligned accurately with cardinal points, ancient builders used the circumpolar stars, aligning the pyramid's sides to them. The bedrock's levelness was crucial, so builders spent a significant amount of time preparing the foundation to ensure stability. Limestone quarries near the construction sites provided the bulk of the pyramid's core stones. Granite, sourced from southern Egypt near Aswan, was used for internal chambers due to its durability. Marks left on some stones suggest they were measured and marked for precision before being extracted. Stones meant for the pyramid's base were larger and heavier, often weighing 2.5 tons or more. Transportation of these massive stones posed significant challenges, and several theories attempt to explain the methods used. One theory suggests wooden sleds, pulled by large teams of workers, were utilized. Water, poured ahead of these sleds, could have reduced friction, making the stones easier to transport. Another theory proposes the use of rollers made from logs to move these stones. The Nile River played a crucial role in the transportation of materials, especially those from distant locations like Aswan. Workers would load stones onto wooden boats, which would sail down the Nile, bringing the materials closer to the pyramid site. For the Great Pyramid, a series of canals might have been constructed to bring these boats closer to the Giza Plateau. As construction progressed, workers established a series of ramps to move blocks upwards. The exact nature and positioning of these ramps remain subjects of debate among scholars. Some theories suggest a straight ramp leading directly to the pyramid was used. Others believe a zigzagging or switchback ramp, built up against one face of the pyramid, was utilized. Yet another theory proposes a spiral ramp was built around the pyramid's exterior. Regardless of the ramp type, mud brick or limestone chippings were likely used in their construction. As the pyramid grew taller, the ramp was either extended or modified to accommodate the structure's height. An organized workforce was central to the pyramid's construction, with specialized teams responsible for different tasks. Contrary to some early beliefs, the pyramid builders were not slaves but likely well-fed skilled laborers and farmers employed during the inundation season. Villagers, like the workers' village discovered near Giza, provided accommodations for these workers, showing evidence of a well-organized supply chain. The design of the pyramid evolved over time, with earlier designs like mastabas and step pyramids predating the smooth-sided pyramids. Pharaoh Joseph's step pyramid at Saqqara, designed by Imhotep, marks an essential step in this architectural evolution. The transition from step pyramids to smooth-sided pyramids may have been driven by both religious beliefs and aesthetic preferences. The pyramid's internal chambers and corridors were planned meticulously, often aligning with celestial bodies or events. The air shafts in the Great Pyramid, for instance, align with specific stars, possibly serving a religious or symbolic purpose. The pyramid's angle of incline, around 52 degrees for the Great Pyramid, was likely chosen for stability reasons. The pyramid's design inherently distributes the weight of the stones towards its center, ensuring stability. This stability, combined with the choice of durable materials like granite for crucial sections, ensured the pyramid's longevity. The outer casing stones, made of Tura limestone, were placed with incredible precision, with gaps between stones being less than a millimeter. This precision in construction kept the pyramid stable and protected the inner core from erosion. Over time, many of the outer casing stones were removed, used in other building projects, revealing the rougher core. The pyramid's sheer mass and its compacted weight also play roles in its continued stability. Furthermore, the pyramid's design, with its wide base and tapering top, naturally resists major structural failures. 
its location, away from major tectonic fault lines, has also shielded it from significant earthquake damage. Despite facing natural elements for millennia, the pyramids, especially the Great Pyramid, remain largely intact, testament to their architectural genius. Understanding the complete construction process requires ongoing research, combining archaeological evidence with insights from engineering and astronomy. Despite our current understanding, many aspects of the pyramid's construction still hold mysteries, awaiting further exploration and discovery. Thanks for watching. Please do like and subscribe our channel for more such content.